Now I have to ask you why Cracker is not in Pirate King. Okay, why wait, Cracker what? No, wait. <laughs> oh, you got me there for a second. No, I'm not playing with you. Okay, uh, Cracker, it, bro, you should have made a rocks, a, a rocks tier above Pirate King, and you should have put Roxy Zebek in it and Cracker in it. You should have made a Cracker roll and put that above rocks. To be wait, honest. wait, wait, wait. Okay, there's no playing. way you're not joking right now. Cracker that I high. am not playing with you. I'm not playing with you right now. But why? You will see why. But, uh, but like, Cracker, Cracker would lose to Kata Curry, though. Cracker is not losing to nothing. Cracker's... He lost to Luffy and Nami. <laughs> I'm going to need you to look at those right quick. Don't say nothing else to me. You oh God! Uh, say nothing else to me, and no. I'll I I I will I I'll be the first to admit you don't even have to say it. This is kind of a red argument if you're looking at narrative, but but basically what this is showing is one of Crocker's soldiers was relative to, and actually I would argue better because he forced Luffy into Gear Four yeah. is. Comparing to post time skip whole cake island arc Luffy one, Cracker himself states, even if you want to say it, it's not infinite, he can make multiple. Uh, he can, he says himself that he can make limitless. I don't believe I that. I can actually he... open these. You you can't. Yeah, it's not letting me open them. Like I, it's asking okay. me to download them. I click download and then I click open and it's just showing up a blank screen. Uh... Uh, well, I know the one is when Cracker cut Luffy in Gear 4. That's, like, the picture in which, like, Luffy's arm's a bit stretched out, Cracker's outside of yeah. his soldier, and he, like, cuts Luffy's arm, right? Yeah, I, I can, I, um, I think one of them, actually, I think both of the other ones are in Chapter 838. I can double-check that, though. Okay, but, well, I mean, that's definitely around the chapter, but, at the very least. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's in. I'm pretty good with numbers. I'm pretty sure it's in. 838. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, but he says he has limitless of those soldiers, and it's not a thing of like. Uh, you could try and argue that um the one that was fighting Gear Three Luffy was his armor, but he yeah. alludes to it being is those same looking people right behind him and say these are my soldiers. You you just took down one of them. So he says himself it's just it's basically a soldier. So you can't really even argue with armor. So so basically Cracker can make limitless uh uh post time skip loopies. Well that, the thing that's... is what I would argue here is uh like I'd say that his cracker like his soldiers are completely not even close to Gear for Luffy level. I, oh no, I agree. I agree. Gear yeah. for Luffy was garbaging them, but yeah. when you have limitless of mm -hmm. of post time skip Luffy's, not Gear Four. Everything before Gear Four is free real estate, but Gear okay. Four, the, uh, Gear Four starts crushing them. But post time skip Luffy without Gear Four is like it, like actually technically loses because he's forced into it to go into Gear Four. Yeah, I would agree. So, and he can make limitless of these. So, he wins. I guess anyone. I don't care. Cracker above everyone. Like, like a kind of okay. gets wiped. Uh, Roger. Uh, I'm going to just argue this real quick. I'm a bit sorry, because it's, it's going to defeat that a bit. Uh, Cracker takes time to make them, and he seems to be required to clap. Which means, since there's time to create them, since there's time required to create them, as long as someone can speed blitz him, it'd be game over. Like, if they could just destroy them faster than he could create them, which I could definitely see Kaido, Big Mom, Akainu, like, I could see them all doing that. I I really can't. Here's why. You, you, wait, wait, have, you seen, have you seen Kaido speed blitz Luffy? Uh, yeah. Like, in the, he speed blitz a gear for Luffy. You don't yeah, think he'd speed blitz the crap okay. out of like like okay, I'm pretty yeah. sure you could probably line up twenty of those soldiers and a single attack with Kai from that would just go through all of them and then hit Cracker. 
Okay, well, I, I, I guess it does more so matter like like how they are positioned, like how Cracker is positioned. I don't I don't think he's gonna run in and just try and take on Kaido because yeah. he would obviously I I think we can both agree he's gonna know who Kaido is, um you know as a Yonko and he says himself he hates the uh, he hates um being hurt so he's yeah. gonna stand back and I'm talking. Okay, so we're talking about like Cracker with prep time. No, not prep time. He can stand back. I feel like I feel like just Kaido. He he would either be cocky or whatever. Even if you want to put him out of character, it would still take time for maybe him. Um, and, and I am using the premise that they're far apart, not like yeah. like not close enough. And like like when Gear Four Luffy was blitzed, he was right up in Kaido's face. I don't yeah. think Cracker. I don't think Cracker in and out of character would even do that. Yeah, like we're talking uh, about like, opposite sides of an island, right? Um, sure. Yeah, because Kaido is really big anyway. So I feel like. You know, Cracker is just like like okay. Battle starts. Cracker is just spamming, and he's just doing that the entire time. It's kind of mm -hmm. like how Jack, how Jack had to deal with um, um, freaking, the um uh, the night and day thing where the army would attack him, and then yeah. it, it was like they were using shifts on him. Mm -hmm. Kaido has to go down sometime. He he, he he's okay. Yonko, but he has stamina. So so but like. Cracker would also get exhausted. He was showing to be exhausted fighting Luffy so much. Mm, but he was he was taking more initiative in that fight. He wasn't just spamming soldiers like I'm saying. I mean, I, for a while it seemed like he was just, like, during the time where Luffy was just eating them, it seemed like he was probably just spamming them. Uh, and then he, also, I mean, can't yeah. Big Mom potentially make it rain with Zeus? make it rain yeah oh yeah well well zeus is it, I, I don't know how big is zeus able to like cover the sky or is he just that cloud uh he's able to increase in size quite a bit i would say cover the sky but then you also have stuff like uh Prome uh Promezus, uh Pr prometheus uh which can become a gigantic ball of fire couldn't he just kind of like hover over the soldiers and melt them uh well could it kind of like melt I, them by just making the ground magma well the thing is though it's not as simple as just their biscuits because if they were just biscuits then gear for uh, not gear for uh post times kabloofy with hockey would have no problem disarming them they're not yeah, just they're really compact the, biscuits yeah so i feel like the, the only clear cut like I um like the rain would definitely be a problem, but I feel like I don't know how big that the dude can get if he's covering the whole island, maybe, but I still feel like that's not the only thing Cracker has up his sleeve, mm -hmm. and I still feel like um even then there's there's um I actually I'm still kind of I still I I still really want to know how big he can get because I I think it's the thing of like it it'll kind of just be like Kaido. Like, like, from what I think, how big he could get with yeah. Kaido just using his range, it would just be like that. But Prometheus or Zeus is raining on them. I don't okay. know how big he can get. Uh, I can kind of look for that. If he can also, go over the whole I mean, island, maybe. I do have to ask: Would Kaido really have to worry about those, anyways? Like, ha have you heard about his fight with like? Luffy, Zoro, Law, and like his fight with the uh, Red Scabbards. Uh, I heard he was getting smacked around by Luffy. Uh, yeah, he was getting smacked around by Luffy in particular during, I think, a few chapters ago. Like, as much as he was getting smacked around, which he was, the thing was, he was willingly taking all of those hits. Luffy even pointed out specifically the time Kaido actually dodged a hit. Uh, and he basically yeah. was tanking a bunch of these hits from characters that are, like, I'd probably say are stronger in terms of, like, their ability, like, like in terms of their attack than uh, Cracker's soldiers. I, I feel, I, I'd yeah. feel like I'd be comfortable arguing that. 
Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And and I can agree with that. But my main argument is not that they're that the individual soldiers are strong. It's just it's just uh, that uh, that that they're not weak. Definitely not weak. Plus the fact that Cracker can just sit back on the on the beach side and just be clapping while Kaido is just in who knows where, like, you know, fighting these a bunch of soldiers. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, so, it's just like, you know. There is yeah. probably an effective range to Cracker's Devil Fruit. What do you mean? Well, I mean, I, I assume he, I, like, I, I would assume this is something that could easily be completely wrong, but I would assume that Cracker is, like, like, he can't just control the, like, uh, soldiers from, like, the other side of the board, you know? I feel like he could, though, because I feel like it's shown, well, maybe not, I don't know, I'm trying to think of something else that's, like, kind of comparable. Like, like when Big Mom goes on expeditions, her homies are still there, and stuff like that. Yeah, but, like, yeah. her homies have souls in them, technically. They're, they're technically free-thinking. Yeah. They uh, just okay. have to, like, they just have to listen to her commands. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's true, but, I mean, uh, even with the soldiers, I don't know if he's completely manipulating them but uh, but even with what you said even if even if he's not if even if he is completely manipulating them i don't i i i don't think that that's the case and i don't think anything really backs that up to be honest i mean the thing is though what did he have to it's not like his uh, it's not like his soldiers are alive well y yeah he would have to uh okay well then sure hey, let's say he does have to completely manipulate them I don't see why there would be any range on that. It's not like a telephone or something, you know. It's just, it's just, yeah, it's just but, a cell fruit. I mean, if he like, if if you were to, to agree that he has to completely manipulate them, that means that he also, in order to use them effectively, would have to know what's going on. So why am I? It doesn't have to like he doesn't actually have to see it per se, depending on how good his observation is, which. That's that's not relevant to the current discussion, but like he to have to be able to know what's happening on the battlefield. Um, not necessarily, and the reason I say that is just because it's not a thing of like I'm not trying to take down Kaido with these you know swords and stuff. I'm just trying to wear him out. It's mm -hmm. uh, um. Do, do you know about the fight with Ali, uh, Muhammad Ali, and? Whatever his name is, uh, George. No, not George. Yeah, George I Boy? do not. But is that what the whole thing where it's like someone gets beat up and then they come, like someone takes uh, a beating and then they like get the person doing the beating gets exhausted. Yeah, it's exactly like that. That's the only. I, I agree that they aren't they aren't at harming Kaido at all. It's just the fact that. After a while of continuously fighting, eventually he he's not he doesn't have infinite stamina. I because that's it, it just doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So after a while, because you have to you have to realize Kaido is fighting, even if that's just spitting or swinging his sword. Yeah. Um, Kaido's doing that while Cracker is just clapping, and that's it. So Kaido's stamina would be would easily go before crackers and then it's just a thing of like you know well kaido's now you know you know completely exhausted or whatever and now i can just spam more and now they're gonna attack kaido and now there's like a hundred luffy's on top of kaido hitting him mm -hmm. eventually I, I just don't see a a win con for kaido type of deal well the thing is like Hold on, I'm about to bring it up, because, like, have you seen his, uh, what's it called again? His Blast Breath? Yeah, I know about that. Well, like, so then you saw it basically, it can disintegrate the top of a mountain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Could he, like, could he potentially use that and get rid of thousands of those soldiers with a singular Probably. breath? Probably. And then just rest but... up for a few seconds? Probably, but with him, uh, it, with that, not only does he have to transform, he has to do the breath, he has to, and I feel like that, it wouldn't be a thing of, oh, now I can rest. It's like, oh, I just use this extremely powerful power, which is completely shown to obliterate mountains. So that's that would probably do him more harm than good. 
Oh, he do. He uses it casually, though. Well, I, I mean, even then, like, I don't, I like, if he, let's say he completely destroys like thousands of things, there's still more coming, and I don't mm-hmm. think, I, I, and like, if he's, if before that, unless he's continuously using it, um, which would exhaust him, even if he used it casually once or even twice, if he's constantly using it, it's gonna wear him out faster than just normal swings. If before, mm-hmm. if before he did that breath. He was casually swinging. That gives Cracker a lot more time to make more, make more, make more. I feel like if, say, like, I don't know how big. I'm trying to remember how big. Like, I feel like with one slash, he might be able to take like twenty, thirty. I feel like, I feel like if he's, I feel like with how Kaido would work, he wouldn't do it that fast. He would just swing. It would be like a not a slow swing, but not he's not particularly like doing it like swiftly yeah he's so not I like, feel like doing what he did to luffy yeah i feel like i feel like uh if he takes out 30 with one swing um cracker could easily easily make 50 by the time he um is going to go attack again okay. so that continuously adds up so i feel like even if he did take a thousand out he might be able to rest for a couple how seconds. much do you think luffy ate eight yeah, because like for a while it was just Cracker making soldiers and then Luffy eating them. There wasn't like any fighting really going on between the two of them. Um I don't know how many he ate. I feel like, like that's not... Yeah. I feel like that like depending on how many you think he ate, that would be kind of in like how long you think that time period it was, that would be kind of indicative of how many how how quickly Cracker can create them. Because I don't think Cracker could just create like 50 in an instant. Well, he hasn't even been able to show him to be able to do that when he was shown making them. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Oh, is, oh, yeah. I think like if Kaido were to use his blast breath, he could take out thousands in about mm-hmm. two seconds. Yeah. Well, it, well, well, what I'm saying is that when he uses that blast breath, there's already probably a lot. And if we don't, if he's coming out of the gate with that, then there's probably going to be like a couple of those, like a couple of those guys. So he's probably going to let them rack up and then do it. And then, and then at worst case scenario, he's just going to do it all over again. He like wipes them all out. Then they start flooding in again, flooding in again. And then mm. he uses it again. It's just that continuous cycle. He might be able to rest for a couple seconds, but they're going to start coming back. Okay. And then, actually, I just realized, I don't know, I don't, could it kind of just move past them and hit Cracker? Um. Well, if they're on other sides of the island, then he has to find Cracker. <laughs> he has observation hockey. But how does his observation hockey work? Does he work for a I will give or... you, he, we don't know that, uh, we don't know how, but... For example, yeah. we do know that depending on how good your observation hockey is, you can figure out how uh, relatively how strong in it like a creature is cuz Rayleigh did that. Yeah. So, I I would just say we don't really know because yeah. like uh, there's like Anel who his observation hockey can see over all of Skypea. Then there's Katakuri yeah. who his observation hockey can see into the future. So, it's a yeah. lot different between them and we don't really know who I, I would say the best bet with Kaido's observation hockey is because at like a baseline between everyone's is that they can as they kind of have like a like a passive Sharingan with their yeah. observation hockey. Is so they can like see attacks coming. But we don't really know if he has like a Nell's type of deal. It might have been confirmed that Nell has the, the uh one of the best observation hockeys because that's yeah. the, that and his Elfru is all he trained. So I don't think I I think it would be really loose and and not really grounded anything to say Kaido has that same level of observation hockey when he's working okay. on everything else you know okay and then just to harp it back because I kind of forget it what's your reasoning for why Cracker wouldn't have to know what's going on on the battlefield for the Crackers for his soldiers to like work effectively against someone because the objective is not to attack it's not yeah. to uh, I mean I mean they're obviously going to be like you know in his way or whatever some hair just got in my mouth. Sorry. Um, yeah, cool. it, it, that, it's not the objective. Uh, to, to um, what that what that 
what what that statement is built in is that he, is that he wants to take him down with the soldiers. That's not what it is. I he yeah. wants to wear him out. That's all that has to happen. And and he he, he can just. He can just have the soldiers like spit at Kaido or spit away from Kaido. It doesn't really matter what they do, as long as they're, you know, you know, um, taking up a Kaido's energy. It doesn't really matter what what is going on on the battlefield. Mm-hmm. And okay. and if you want to say, okay, well, if they're not attacking a, a Kaido, then Kaido can just ignore them. Well, yeah, but then that just gives Cracker a much better time to make more. So even that is not good for Kaido. Okay, so doing that, I guess in character, yeah, Kaido probably would have go looking for Cracker after seeing a bunch of his soldiers just walking around. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so honest, then, dude, what if we switch to argument. Kizaru? Kizaru? Yeah. Um, uh, because I'm pretty sure if he wanted to, he could probably just you know, shoot a laser from his finger and cut them all in half with that, you know? Is he able to do that? Because uh, all I've seen with his finger laser is that it just shoots like a bullet. It's not a constant stream. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, yeah. He, he might not be able to. I'll agree with you there. Uh, on the other hand, we have seen him make a lightsaber, so I'm not exactly sure what the limits to his powers are so much. Yeah. It, it, but I feel if like he were to do a constant stream, do you think that would take... I don't know if a constant stream would actually be enough to take one out anyways, actually, because... Yeah, it's it's as strong as, like, Luffy. Unless, especially in character, Kizaru. He's probably just gonna be like, ooh, bang, 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 and not really be trying, you know? Uh-huh. It, right, it, oh, he wait. doesn't even try against old Rayleigh, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> well, actually, I, I would actually disagree with that. He did say he, like... Rayleigh was keeping him at bay, and I have no reason to disbelieve him. Yeah, 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 you're right. And, like, well, you saw where I put Prime Rayleigh. Yeah, yeah. And I actually agree with that. I agree with that. I'm fine. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. Here, here's, 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 here's a spicy one. Uh, do you think Mihawk's stronger than Shanks? Yes. And okay, anyone... there we yeah. go. I do, too. Uh, it wasn't until recently that I've really just been like I, I've been like definitive on my stance on that, but like I am officially yeah, I on like, the Mihawk over Shanks train. Yeah, I feel like there's just nothing really saying. I, I feel like it's kind of it's kind of unfair because we don't have a lot from Shanks, but we know that Mihawk and Shanks are buddies and they used to clash a lot. So yeah. with Shanks being primarily a swordsman and Mihawk being known as the strongest swordsman, that and that's basically the only thing we have. That's the best bet. Like you can't really say, "Oh, well, Shanks is Yonko." Yeah, well, he's a pirate, and Miyako is not. Miyako was a warlord forever, and even after yeah. becoming not a warlord, he's not a pirate. He just lives in his castle and does what he wants. So, yeah, yeah. So Miyako is yeah. Yeah. Or well, like thing. the thing is too, like I've kind of started seeing it like in a completely different like light per se. Because a lot of people say, like, Ben Beckman is, like, super strong. Some people put Ben Beckman on Yonko level. Personally, I don't. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, but, like, the thing is, because, like, Mihawk is... To me, Mihawk kind of parallels Zoro. Like, I think if Shanks had his arm in Mihawk, he could be Pirate King, essentially. Wait, Cause, what? Like, Hmm? Well, it's like, because part of the reason, like, Mihawk and Shanks, their relationship turned a bit more sour was because Shanks lost his arm, you know? Yeah. And so it's like, that was also Shanks' dominant arm. And, like, the mm-hmm. way, like, Zoro is kind of like Luffy's right-hand man, Shanks lost his dominant, like, what, you know, <laughs> Shanks is left-handed, so, like, you know. But, like, he lost yeah. that equivalent when he actually lost his actual arm, which both caps how strong he can be and also made like Mihawk be you know like Mihawk's not joining the crew because you know maybe there could have been a a potential reality in which that would have been the case because like Mihawk and Shanks are rivals but so is Zoro and Luffy you know yeah so like 
that's kind of a ramblish, but simply put, like I feel like if Shanks had Mihawk in his arm, he could actually have been Pirate King. Oh yeah, definitely, easily. But like no, arm, I just, like he he just wants to party. Yeah, yeah, he does. Without his arm too, it's just like yeah, I don't think he could beat Mihawk. I think Mihawk is stronger. Plus, did you hear well, about the actually, Reaver card statement? What Reaver card statement? Uh, spe- specifically, uh, Mihawk is looking for someone stronger than Jinx to fight. Um, okay, yeah, 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 I heard of it. But the thing with Shanx also is that I don't have the skins on me. I just, I, I've heard that they exist. So, but, um, I'm pretty sure it's confirmed somewhere, maybe on a favorite record or something, that Shanx is actually still, still known and seen as very powerful even after he loses his arm yeah so i I feel like it's i feel like he didn't get significantly debuffed because he is still a yako and like he 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 often he obviously did did probably get weaker because it's his dominant arm but he's still i i feel like if he if he and mihawk fought i feel like mihawk would win like seven to six times out of that fight yeah Shanks can still hold his own, definitely. You know, I, I'd, I'd agree. I mean, the thing is, like, he seems to fight mainly one-handed with his sword anyway, so, it, like, the difference really would have been more so, like, switching dominant arms, you know? It's just, yeah, it is I'll just different, it. but... Yep. And then, you know, if he did have two-handed swords attacks, he just could have performed those anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to see... But, um... uh... Yeah, no, I'd agree. I'd agree. Yeah, all right. Well, oh, wait. I'm trying to see if there's anything... What? What's up? Oh, wait. I almost did forget. A Kainu versus Cracker. Couldn't a Kainu just have magma surrounding him? Um, s- Surrounding him? Or... If, they, if it's surrounding him, then it's still like he would still have to keep it constant. Because if he's not keeping it constant, it's going to cool down. So yeah. even then, he's still constantly putting out outputting energy, and yeah. if you want to say, oh well, then he could cover the whole island, make the whole island magma. Well, biscuit, uh, uh, um, crackers biscuits are a lot stronger than just a biscuit. So I yeah. feel like with the fact that he can just make limitless of them, he could either like make himself like a whole house or something. <laughs> and so he, he he would constantly be off the ground, while his soldiers. He could build a bridge to a Kainu, something, you know, he, his crackers, his biscuits are, like, 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 literally endless, because it's just yeah. crackers. It's not, it's not just, like, he has the ability to make all these soldiers or anything. It's, like, he could, he, it's a lot more versatile than just that. So, I feel like he, he could find a way around a magma. Now, if a Kainu was, had the water, water fruit, then, yeah, he's completely stomping and <laughs> negging cracker, but he doesn't. Yeah, okay. So. Yeah. Well then, I will also say this: we both know there's a limit to how quickly Cracker can create one because he's required to clap before doing so. Yeah. We don't know how many claps he has to do per soldier, but we also know that he does get tired clapping because, well, everyone gets tired of clapping. It does exert energy. Yeah, he could, but my my main point. Well, I, I mean, he does not. He could. Uh, he does, but my main point is that while while he's just clapping, they are fighting, or at the very least with the Kainu, having to constantly output his magma. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But so, do you it, think it, him it, being it, exhausted afterwards, like, the difference would be enough for Cracker to swoop in and kill him? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I feel like because it's just Cracker clapping. Um, it, because if you if you want to say a kind of just I feel like a kind of in character wouldn't do that. I feel like he would. He's so aggressive. He wouldn't just sit there and just you know he'd go looking you know, for cracker. Yeah, that and he'd go at actually attacking the soldiers. But if you want to say okay, well out of character, he could just do that. He, I still feel like that's a lot more than cracker clapping. And I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it would make more sense for cracker, like one soldier per one clap. Then oh, yeah. I have to clap like this amount of times to get their limbs or something. I I just don't. Okay. It just, well, really I will sense. say in the anime they had him clap multiple times per soldier. Per soldier. Yeah, 
Uh, unless I'm misremembering, which yeah. is a possibility, I do remember like more like a multiple time per soldier. Though I am going to check the manga real quick forward? just to see if there's any indication. Because there might have been, there was those scenes. God. Oh, wait. What's your favorite arc so far? I have not read One Piece, bro. <laughs> I, I mean, like, Piece. even watching it. I have not watched One Piece, bro. Uh, I'm, I might like the end of Alabasta, so I, I'd probably say Alabasta. I, actually, I'd say wait. Drum Island. Wait, wait. So you haven't watched or read it? No, not really. How do you know so much? Um, A combination of my friend feeding me everything that happens, and I'm in a giant scan server. That's where I'm yeah. getting these scans from. So okay. I can kind of talk with them and, and like, you know, look at all these scans that they have. So I know okay. basically everything that. And plus, and plus, I see a bunch of clips on YouTube. So I know what happens mostly. Like, like I've seen I've seen a lot of the main points of the Marine for arc. That's why I mainly know what happens. Yeah. Because I just saw it on YouTube. But I didn't watch it through it. No. Or, or read it. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, I will say there's no really good indication in the manga. They just kind of substitute the clap of music symbols at some point, and that's literally useless. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that could just be Cracker, um, dancing around Luffy, with just yeah. like like even if you want say the anime, does um, you know, uh, it, 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 even if you want to say the anime is a good source f for this, then. It's still like, it's still like you know, I completely forgot what I was gonna say. Basically, that's that's basically what I'm trying to say. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot what I was gonna say. Um, it, it's still like, it's still like, oh, oh yeah, with anime, it's more like, it's more like they have to show off more. So I feel like yeah. it would just, it would just show off Cracker's cocky attitude to make it to where it's, um, like, like. A soldier per like multiple claps, but I, I I feel like he could if he's making limitless soldiers. I see no reason why it couldn't be one clap per soldier. Okay, okay, that's fair. And yeah. then finally, last but not least, I actually I got I got two oddballs here. What about White Beard? Um, what could about, he like, just White potentially Beard? destroy half an island and that be the island part in which like Crack is hiding? Well, so the thing about that is that Whitebeard doesn't control his. Well, he he controls it pretty well. I'll give it to him, but he can't control it perfectly. Mm -hmm. And also, I see no reason why Cracker would just stay there. He he could definitely use his crackers to maybe like be one of those um like what's it called like like those things that people stand on to make them taller. He could do that like a big yeah. giant thing and get to the part of the island that isn't um you know being being destroyed and into the water and yeah. if you want to say okay, well white beard will do it again well he's there's gonna be a limit to how much he can do it and then yeah, well, actually like, like the thing is we've actually never seen it to where devil using a devil fruit ability exhaust anyone well, well with the law we have well, yeah, okay, I'll give you that. With Law, we have. He's he's the only person, though, where we've seen it has some kind of negative side effect, because it's like, Luffy's always rubber, so his double fruit is technically always in effect. Okay, well, that's different. That's just a passive. That's not really him actually activating his ability. If he was but constantly I've also never using... seen a limit to, like, Logia users creating their element, or even f being seemingly being phased by creating their element. So, with that... I it, it does seem that way, but the the reason I wouldn't I wouldn't put that to them is one because the we don't see a lot of um th there's nothing really pointing to where they can use it infinitely. It's just pointing to to that it does not take a little. Or, I mean, it doesn't. It takes minuscule amounts of energy to put out. But with yeah. Cracker, it's still like we actually have a statement from him saying, "I have limitless soldiers." I feel mm -hmm. like if if that was the case for other people, then especially Logia users, they would make a 
a, a, a like like for like crocodile, he would make a sables the size of the moon. If that change is infinite, like like he would just charge his you know size of the moon. Uh, bye bye Luffy. You know. Yeah. Okay. Fair point. Fair point. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, but with uh, but uh, both Cracker with his soldiers, he has that limit of he has to clap, which makes it to where he can't, he we he can't just you know just like throw up a thousand you know in a, in an instant. He has that limitation, so I feel like he, I feel like even that further supports the point of he has limitless, but everyone else doesn't because he has that limitation. Okay, and then I forgot Whitebeard could do this, but. Couldn't white build like if they're on an island, can't white build just cause a tsunami? Well, then he would take himself with him, right? Well, no, because like the like, like he can cause a tsunami, but a tsunami won't necessarily drown him, especially considering how tall he is. The idea would more so just to be wetting the cre- like the soldiers. Um. Well, if he's wetting him, uh, are you talking about like? Okay, so let's say the tsunami comes, and are you saying it washes over the island, like it completely engulfs it? Yeah, or like almost or... like a whole, like almost like a gigantic storm just happened where rain just fell for like two seconds. Okay, so I feel like in that scenario, I, I could still use the um the, the application of Cracker can just go above it all with his infinite uh amount of biscuits. He could just tower it while Whitebeard is being doused in water which is not good for him in any capacity he's probably going to get washed away because he goes completely limp because he's a devil freezer he goes completely limp when he's hit by especially a wave of water mm-hmm. so he, he could just wait for the tsunami to you know stop okay uh though couldn't like like that would assumingly take out quite a bit of the crackers in terms of like their durability to the yeah. point that white people could probably just walk through them in my opinion but what like would mean? it like you know that kind of like put a damper on crackers like army then because like you said it does take time for them to actually create them um it it definitely would but it's still the thing of like now, now Cracker has time to mm-hmm. make more because, uh, well, okay, well, first of all, are we talking, well, which white beard are we talking about? Uh, we can put this as prime beard for the sake of argument. Okay. Uh, well, even with prime beard, prime beard would, would be, you know, I, uh, prime beard, even prime beard is more of a powerhouse than a speedster. So he, so he, him getting washed up by that wave and Cracker not because he's above it all, just, Kind of just laughing to be honest. He can just mm-hmm. make more with that time he has, and now it's not a thing of oh well. Now it's just it, even if uh Whitebeard took out all of his uh troops with that, he can just make more with the the um the uh, the the complete open window that he has now that yeah. Whitebeard has engulfed him in a tsunami. Whitebeard engulfed himself in a tsunami. Okay. Okay, so I'm also going to point out this. Whitebeard can jump pretty freaking high. Isn't it potentially possible that he could just jump up while the tsunami falls? So that he just, um, you know, goes I, in, I, I like, know, put, goes about. into the puddle? I know what you're talking about, but I don't think he could jump and hover. He would definitely just jump and come right back down. I don't think he could stay up long enough. Okay. And then also this, Whitebeard's also freakishly tall. That, not as tall as a actual tsunami. No, 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 he doesn't need to be as tall as a tsunami. Because, like, so long, like, so long as, depending on how much he can control a tsunami, when, like, in terms of, like, how it might hit something or something like that, you know, like, if he can make it so, like, he say he's in, like, the middle of the island, and the tsunami meets... Like, like, it's already fallen onto the island, and it kind of, like, the middle is the low point of the tsunami. Yeah. Oh, um, um, can you repeat that last part? Uh, well, like, okay, like, I think it would be easier if we, like, you, do you remember how his, uh, tsunami was coming at Marineford? Yeah. 
Well, like, the, if it would have continued motion, like, they would have gone over marine fluid and then kind of met, met at the bottom, like, on the actual island at, like, surface level almost, right in the middle, right? Yeah. And so, um, like, if he, if he made it to do that and he was in the middle, he'd probably, like, I imagine he'd probably be fine. Like, he'd probably have a few feet of water beneath him. But he himself so, would probably be okay. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So with that, I feel like that would still um I feel like that wouldn't be enough though. And the only reason though is okay, so you're saying that he douses the whole island, but he doesn't actually get washed up by a tsunami. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was just trying to remember my point to be honest. He, he controls earthquakes and he yeah. can barely do that. It's very i I find it even for Prime Beard, I find it unlikely that he can accurately control how big a tsunami is with with earthquakes that he can he can't even fully control the earthquakes themselves. So I just okay. feel like that's more of a thing of like of like, oh, I hope I roll a, a good a good roll, you know, roll mm-hmm. of the die. You know, it could happen, but I don't think it's fair to say he's gonna make that happen. Okay. I think I think I might have something that could potentially change your mind on that. Give okay. me a sec. I think it's 966. Also, I will say, you, like, I mean, Whitebeard does have probably more than enough endurance almost. Not infinite. Not infinite, but, like, he did fight Roger for three days. Well, I mean... That's true, but I still feel like going against a seemingly infinite amount of soldiers is kind of a lot more than one Roger for three days. That's my personal opinion. No, look it. Okay, I sent you the picture. Like, this was what Whitebeard did casually when he was just kind of angry. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I agree. The thing really is, terrible. like, he never actually toppled the island or anything. Like, the island's not even shaking in that very image. So I feel like he has a bit, like, I feel like he has control of it enough to the magnitude that he could probably, like, control, mm-hmm. like, well, he could control the actual magnitude of the tsunami. Actually, I would say that this just shows that he. Wait, I would honestly say that just shows that because he's angry right there. So yeah. I feel like his control wouldn't be as good as if, he's, as if he's just fighting, which you kind of agree to when when he was um when old Whitebeard was fighting Akainu because he's mm-hmm. he he was angry then and he didn't have a lot of control because he's you know angry. <laughs> so I feel like him not having a lot of control from the anger and him only making that would just mean that that's the best he can do, and that's not a lot at all. Oh, well, I would have to completely disagree with that interpretation. I'd say that he actually had a good amount of control when he fought against Akainu. The thing is, his devil fruit is just dangerous for people to be around him, is how I kind of view it. Because he also specifically made a crevice between both him and Marineford, and him and, like, his actual commanders and everything. I mean, like, hey, you guys go back now. I can't get on that ship to the next era. Plus, this was, like, like I said, he's slightly angry. Right now, he's literally sitting down and talking in this in this scene with uh, Odin. He's not trying to attack anyone or anything. He's just slightly angry. He's like, are you really trying to do this to me right now? And he's just casually causing this. Well... Okay, that I disagree with, because uh, for the pure reason, because I don't think he's slightly angry. Not even going off of the basis that he's like yelling and everything, he sees his crew as his family, which he mm-hmm. cl- clearly says in the thing. His family is so much is so much to him that even though he was the closest person to becoming the pirate king, he gave it all up and didn't even care about it, for the pure reason that he just completely was just in the game for his family. So I feel like I feel like it's kind of the same thing with like Akainu and the Marines. It's his whole thing of life. So it's kind of it's it's 
I do. I completely don't agree with saying that. Saying that because he sees he now sees Odin as his family. So the fact that Roger is trying to take him away would actually mm-hmm. just make him as angry as, as especially as as much as he was with a uh, w- uh, with a Kainu. If anything, I, I feel like he wouldn't be slightly angry. I mean, I would have to. Well, one, I would like to point out, uh, never cared about becoming Pirate King ever. Like, he had the chance to become Pirate King a while ago. Roger even offered to tell him where everything was. Uh, I don't think he ever intended to do so. He wanted to make Ace Pirate King. Uh, so, like, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, even with that, my, my thing it still stands. Yeah, but uh, yeah, 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 I agree with that. Also, I wouldn't really consider this his upper limit by any means still. Oh, definitely not, because I feel like when Ace died, that's obviously a lot more angering. But I still feel like the fact that it's kind of dishonoring, because I feel like honor is a big thing, especially in these in manga and anime that are based off of older cultures, because honor is a big honor is a big thing now, to be honest. It's just more called pride. But back then, Roger's literally saying is liter- is in Whitebeard's interpretation of what Roger is saying, he's trying to take his family away. So yeah. the f- so not only is that completely o- offending to Whitebeard, if he let that happen, that would be completely dishonoring. So it, 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 I, I agree that he might not be as angry as he was. Um, and, and I know I just said he was, but now that I think about it, Ace did just die. <laughs> So, but he's still very much so angry. So I feel but, like I, I mean, like, at the same time, it's not like Roger's saying he's going to take Odin. He's actually just asking him to let him borrow Odin for two years. But that's or actually not what, one year. But that's not what uh, Whitebeard is initially thinking. Even if that's true, which it probably no, nah, I haven't read it. Probably is. But he says, absolutely not, Roger. Are you trying to steal my family from me? So that's not what he realizes. Yeah. Okay, okay. And then I think my final my final opponent would have been uh, Blackbeard. Blackbeard is garbage, bro. If you could agree to, to Cracker beating Whitebeard, or e- even just wanting to move on from it, Blackbeard is n- doing nothing. I don't even think Blackbeard is in Yonko, bro. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I mean, in all fairness, I don't think Blackbeard has great hockey. I yeah. think he's definitely in Yonko, though. Like, he beat Ace uh, fairly solidly. Like, they, they, they were shown to be evenly matched in terms of devil fruit capabilities, I'd say. But, like, he, he still very much beat Ace. And okay, then he so was fighting he... Akainu. And, wait, actually... No, he wasn't fighting Akainu. He was fighting Sengoku and Garp. They were fight him and his crew were fighting Sengoku and Garp, and him specifically against Sengoku at Marineford oh, after oh, just what? getting the after just getting Whitebeard's Devil Fruit. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, uh, I kind of remember that. Wasn't he just getting slapped by Sengoku though? Uh, he was perfectly fine. From like every from like every measure I could tell, he was like just kind of having fun with it. Like he was laughing and everything. He was just, in all fairness, it doesn't mean he wasn't getting slapped. He could just enjoy it regardless. He seems like he's really yeah. into that kind of stuff. But like, he might be a masochist, yeah. <laughs> but like nonetheless, like he didn't seem like he thought he was in any threat of danger or anything. I should say. Plus, the thing is, my my point would be like. He can create a giant black hole. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I just don't... Wait, are we arguing right now Cracker versus Blackbeard or Blackbeard yeah, Cracker versus Yonko? Blackbeard. Oh, okay. Well, 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 just to say why I don't think... Just to throw this in there, it doesn't really matter. I don't see Blackbeard beating old Rayleigh or Kizaru. Like, mm. at all. Especially with Kizaru being light. I would venture to say that his light could just... Actually, no, that's wrong because Blackbeard does specifically say even light can. Uh, I still don't see. Yeah, Kizaru is definitely just blitzing Blackbeard, and even yeah. Old Rayleigh is is relative to even if you want to say like, well, they only sword fought, so it's not really like uh, Kizaru's light, but Kizaru was doing the Yadamir, and Rayleigh like slashed through it, 
So he's even relative to like Kizaru's light. So I don't think Black Beard's doing anything to either of those two. But 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 that well, we can get into that later later if you want. But with mm. Packer versus Blackbeard, I feel like it's an even worse uh, um version of a Kainu versus Cracker with the situation that you made with um a Kainu having just a, a magma around him. It it would be a lot more to make a black a constant black hole around him because magma at the very least it can keep its consistency for a while. Yeah, but but darkness is it, it's not really a tangible thing. It's something that Blackbeard is creating, especially a black hole. He would definitely have that would definitely drain him a lot more, a, a lot faster and a lot more than a Kainu. So it's just a worse version of a Kainu's fight. So Cracker, yeah, stomps. Okay, but like, could he like? We don't know. We don't know what his current limitations are. Isn't it technically possible that he could create a black hole that encompasses half the island and potentially just suck Cracker into it? Um, I I keep using it, but I still feel like Cracker could just all the way to the other half of the island with his infinite amount of Cracker. Yeah, but that wouldn't work fast enough. He's still, like, Cracker's, Cracker and his actual soldiers are still, like, they still have to answer to gravity. So even if he were to make a soldier, that would just be crushed by the gravity oh no of black oh hole. no i'm not i'm not talking about like i'm not talking about like cracker makes a bunch of soldiers and he stands on them on the top of them i'm saying like he uses his actual just pure crackers to like like honestly i don't even see why he couldn't make wings like how like how robin does with her hands yeah, yeah i feel like it would be a lot better with with the crackers and how they're flat it, it like one of his crackers could probably be one of his rings to be honest he just makes a big cracker. It's just one of his wings. He could definitely do that, like really fast. If he's if he's outputting a soldier in a clap, I see no reason why he couldn't just make a big cracker, make two big crackers, have wings, and then just fly uh, over to the other side of the island. Okay. Well, uh, I'll admit I I don't agree with you, but I can't I argue against you. Me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can't argue against you in any of that. But it's onto the a... Blackbeard versus Kizaru stuff, I think he's probably would handle Kizaru pretty well. What? Yeah, specifically because he can literally bend light. He can't bend. That's that's How what a black hole light? does. Okay, well that's just the name of his thing. Yeah, the yami yami fruit is is actually just darkness. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh. But yeah, like, the if, thing if, is, though, like, you know, he can make a black hole. And no, he said he can if, even entrap light in it. It, it. Yeah, but that's if, if light goes into it. He, I, 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 like, if he made a black hole, or anything even like a black hole, and you wanted to say that the light would bend into it, well, then everything else would bend into it at a much better and more obvious rate than light. So I feel like if it was a, an actual black hole that he made, then mm-hmm. we would have known that, and I wouldn't be contending this at all. Because it it actually is that. It's more of a thing of, like, if it goes into the darkness, it's swallowed. Which I can agree with. So if he makes, like, a, um, well, like a shield, it, yeah. what? Well, I was it, gonna say, he like, says, like, he specifically says his darkness sucks in everything. Which yeah, doesn't well, necessarily, which, you know, kind of brings forth the image of it not necessarily having to make contact. And we see him suck in a sizable town quite quickly. I can show you the panels if you'd like. Well, yeah, well, even those are, like, his darkness touching the buildings. Yeah, I'll give you that. But it was very quick in the manga. Not as quick as Kizaru's light. But is he much does faster. say he can suck in light. But he, if he could suck in light, then he would suck in everything else, and we would see that. He, I mean, he he kind of did suck in everything. Well, 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 no, 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 stuff that's not touching his um his darkness. Like it doesn't touch <laughs> it at all, and it sucks into it. If you can show me that, then it, and and you can show me that that would still apply to like light because black holes. Oh, uh, he brought Ace to him. 
with his black or with the um with the light. I mean, what's the black hole? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll get you the exact panel. Yeah, okay. Yeah, one sec. It's a group of two panels. Here we go. And like I will say, in all fairness, we both know that Oda is definitely still a bit more liberal with the way he interprets the way elements work, like, during this fight, Ace literally throws a spear of fire at, like, Blackbeard that he can actually, like, hold on to as if it's, like, a tangible object. Okay. And also, the picture's sent. Okay, yeah. I, I think they sent out of order, though. Um, okay. So, with this, I just, I, I would easily just say so I, I can see him doing the black vortex. Um it's just like I don't see that being able to bend light. I feel like it, it can it can definitely um manipulate and pull things towards it. Mm-hmm. But light, I don't think it's fast enough for that. And if it was, it would have a much greater traction to the point where Ace would crash straight through uh Blackbeard and kill them both. And they would be in on the moon right now. That's okay. how, that's how, like, if it was to pull in light, that's how strong it would have to be. Like, the, it, like, Blackbeard would have sucked up the whole world into his hand right there. That's how strong mm-hmm. it would have. Like, easily. Okay. I I am still going to disagree, but I chalk that more up to Oda not really thinking about the physics. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's purely just because he says he can bring in light and the whole black, light thing, like, the whole black hole motif. Do you yeah, think I... that Fujitura could bend light? No, I definitely don't think he could. It, mm. it, 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 because if he could, it, 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 all he's using is gravity. So, it, so if you take a sh- strong gravity, something that has very strong gravity, like the sun, we would never be able to see the sun because the gravity of the sun. I, I think we can both agree Fujitora is not gonna make gravity that's as strong as the sun's gravity. Mm-hmm. If the sun, if the sun's gravity was strong enough to bend light, then we would never see the sun because the the light would just go back into itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Okay, one sec. In that case, do you think Fujitora could beat Kizaru in a fight? Oh, we're doing Kizaru now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just on to Kizaru gonna, stuff, I guess. I'm gonna have to go on like Kizaru, I see. Um, I would say probably not. Just, just okay. based off the pure fact that I, based off the people that Fujitora has fought, I don't think he could keep up with Kizaru's speed. Easy. Oh, you? Know, how strong do you think Saba is? Saba? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't really. I haven't seen a lot of stuff from Saba to be honest. Because, like, that's pretty much the only person he's really fought. Uh, okay. Uh, hold on one second. Okay, who? Uh, um, Fujitora has really only fought Sabo. Okay, who has Sabo fought? Uh, Sabo has fought Burgess, pretty much. But that was also, like, he very much easily beat Burgess from the looks of it. He also has Ace's Devil Fruit and has more advanced armament hockey, and he is the second in command of the Revolutionary Armies. Mm, I just feel like we have not seen enough from him, like, like, honestly. Like, we just haven't seen enough from him to put him somewhere. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. Yeah. And then um, I that's... actually, I, I, if that's it, or if there's something you really want to talk about, I have to dip. Oh yeah, no, no, you're you're good. I was just enjoying yeah. the conversation. Uh, yeah. Nonetheless, yeah, hey, thank you for the conversation. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. It was it was really fun debating this um absolute piece of cancer hardware. I don't even I didn't even know that files could have cancer until I saw this tier list, <laughs> and my whole worldview has been changed. I, I'm now I'm now a Muslim. 
That's how Thank much you, you for that compliment. Game. I appreciate it so much. All hail Allah. Allah Akbar. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Okay. All right. I'll see you later.